Every day, the world inches closer and closer towards cyberpunk dystopia, with Western powers using books like 1984 and Brave New World as the blueprint to further their hegemonic agendas. And everywhere you turn, there's a constant barrage of consumerist inadequacy being shoved down your throat. Advertisers tracing your every keystroke, wanting to sell you a shiny new crutch 50% off to make up for the leg they broke in the first place. So, what can be done about it? Well, if you're really worried about online privacy, it would be wise to keep your online presence to a minimum. But if you've already overshared, the first step you need to take is deleting yourself from the internet. In the story of the three little pigs, there were three pigs who each built homes out of different materials. The first made his house of straw, which was blown down easily by the big bad wolf. The third made his house out of brick, which was impenetrable. On the internet, there's no such thing as impenetrable. So for that reason, you're going to build a house of wood. Because all you can do is make it harder for the government to spy on you. Not impossible, just harder. Remember that. Hotspot Shield encrypts your traffic to protect you from all kinds of spying while your computer communicates with the rest of the world. The browser-independent Hotspot Shield establishes an encrypted connection to the Hotspot Shield servers and turns all HTTP traffic to the safer HTTPS. Cleaner contains many features to help you easily clean your computer, free up space, and maintain privacy. When you run Cleaner, be sure to select the option Wipe Free Space on the Windows tab at the bottom under Advanced. This option ensures that your files are essentially paper shredded, so those bits of data on your drive can't be recovered. These days, using a phone is probably the worst way to communicate if you want privacy. We now know thanks to Edward Snowden and other whistleblowers who have leaked classified information that the government can listen into your phone calls and track who you're calling and when. Phone companies are just handing the information over on millions of Americans every day. And the phone companies haven't denied any of the revelations. But as with your web browsing, it is likewise possible to make it harder for the government to access your private calls. You can make it challenging enough that the only way the government can get your information is when they really care about you, compared to now, when they can get anyone's calls and records at the drop of a dime. There are solutions you can try. Disposable cell phones with encrypted VoIP apps are your best bet. Red Phone uses your normal phone number to make and receive encrypted end-to-end -end calls, just like you're used to, but both parties need to have the app in order for it to work. Another phone alternative could be in using an app like Pinger over an encrypted connection to confuse any would-be eavesdroppers. These are just a few ideas I've compiled that I utilize myself. I wouldn't trust my life to them, and neither should you. If you really care about this issue, then you should consider banding together with your fellow citizens and demanding greater transparency from your government.